Polly, the Twister sister, and it's Tuesday again, so that means it's time for another Tutorial Tuesday, and today we're making a snake. Alright, so this is a pretty simple balloon, um, but it's a nice one for the boys who want creepy crawly lizard reptile-y things. I've gotten asked for this quite a few times over the years, um, and Everybody always seems to like it, even though it's really simple. So, I'm going to show you how I make a snake. For this balloon animal, you're going to need a 260, whatever color you want the snake to be. You're also going to need a 160, maybe, depends on how you pump up your balloons. And then another 260 for its tail, and a 5 inch round for the eyes. Additionally, you can also use a scrap of red for his tongue. So I'm just going to get the scrap here that I have for that. So, there's different ways to make the snake depending on how you blow up your balloons. So, for years and years and years, I used a hand pump, and that's how I'm going to show you how to make it today. Basically, what I did is I would take this 260, and a 160. They don't have to be the same color. No one's going to be able to see the 160, so it doesn't really matter what color the 160 is. And you just shove the 160 right down inside your 260. And usually it goes in really easy. I don't find that I often need like a stick or anything to shove down there. It just slides in pretty well on its own. Now, if you can mouth inflate, or if you have a pump that allows you to have one hand free while you're pumping, unlike this, you need both hands on the pump to blow up your balloon, then you can just skip the whole 160 part, wrap your 260 around your fingers, blow it up, and that makes a curling effect. But for those of us like myself that didn't or weren't able to do that for a long time, this is what I would do. So I've got my 160 slid inside of my 260 and I'm going to tie them together at the tail here at the very end. I'm just going to make a quick knot and making sure that both balloons are tied in there. Okay, so we've got that and now what you can do is take your pump and I like to pull my 160 out maybe like two inches. Just pull it out of there and then slip the nozzle of your pump into the 260. You can kind of even out the scrunched up part of the balloon here. Okay, and now when you blow this up, it's going to curl on its own. So you get a really nice tight spiral like this. And the uh, kids love watching this because usually you blow up a balloon and it blows up straight. But this time it curled. It's like a magic trick. <laughs> so then you can just go ahead and tie off your balloon here. And we're going to have a nice coiled up snake that's ready to strike. All right. So next part of the balloon, I like to do the tail first because we've got a little piece here from our knot sticking out that I can still grab. Once we start twisting this balloon, it's going to be harder to get that. So I'm going to take a lime green 260 for the tail. This is optional. Your snake doesn't have to have a fancy tail. This is going to be like a rattlesnake, I guess. So it's going to have like a rattly looking tail, whatever that means. So go ahead and tie this part, not the nozzle part, but the other end of your balloon to your new 260. Just make a knot right there so they're tied together. And then you can do whatever kind of tail you like on your snake. Mine's going to look like a rattlesnake. So I'm going to start off with a small round bubble and make that a pinch twist. And do the same thing right beside it. Another small round bubble and pinch twist. And then I want my balloon going out from that. Okay, now you can do a small, <laughs> trying to show you this, but the curly balloon keeps getting in the way. <laughs> there we go. All right, so we've got our two pinch twists there. 
We're going to do a small, small, small round bubble. And then do two more pinch twist. So we've got two balloons. This is going to, two bubbles. This is going to be a pinch twist. And another one right beside that. And pinch twist. is what we've got now and I'm gonna do this one more time so a very very small 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 bubble and then another bubble pinch twist this one and do another pinch twist right beside it so that's our rattlesnake tail so far and I'm just going to do a small bubble here at the end and get rid of the rest. And if you want to put like rice or something inside of the tail balloon before you blow it up, so that it actually makes a rattling sound, that'd be really cool. So here's our rattlesnake tail. It's kind of sitting underneath them right now. And now we're back up here at the top of our balloon at the nozzle end. So for his mouth, I just go really basic and I do two loops. So take your balloon, fold it over. You're going to make the loop by twisting the nozzle through this balloon here. You have a really long nozzle. You can cut it off if you want to. So we've got one loop and I'm going to do another one. So there's a little face. And then all we have left is the five inch round. So I'm giving my snake red eyes because it seems appropriate. And just blow these up a little bit. So I'm gonna do about that big. Tie that off. And use your two hands to twist that five inch round right in half. And then just grab your snake and twist those eyes right up around the loops. And I'm going to cut off this really long nozzle here because it's getting in the way. All right, you can stretch your snake out if you want to a little bit so you can see all of them. <laughs> now that all we have to do is just give them a tongue. So I just happen to have a little 160 here, but you can use a 260. Oop, that's the wrong end. Whatever you want. You can even use, a lot of times I use the red hearts for the snake tongues, because they kind of look like they're forked. So I'm just gonna cut this 160 to make it a little bit bigger. And to stick his tongue in, you just kind of wedge it in between that bottom loop there. So it's just held in there by the friction. And I wouldn't give a tongue to a snake if it was going to a really small child because it's too easy to pull out and then you have a nice little choking hazard there. <laughs> but that's the snake. So let's draw his eyes on and he'll be all done. All right, so I'm done with my snake eyes. You can kind of see how I drew them on there. They're like diamonds with little holes in them. And I gave him the nostrils. So that's our snake. He's super easy, but people always seem to like him. Plus he can kind of hang out on your arm. If you want to wear him, that's pretty cool. <laughs> so that's it for our snake. I hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Please let me know what you think in the comments below. I do enjoy reading all of your comments and suggestions and everything. If you guys like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up for me. And if you're not already, make sure that you subscribe so that you don't miss any of the videos. We put out a new video every Tuesday. If you're subscribed, you'll get to see every single one and you won't miss any. Also, I love seeing your pictures and videos of you guys making these creations. So if you wanna head on over to my Facebook page, the link is down in the description below. Feel free to post your balloon photos and videos there and then I just might feature you in my next video. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. You all are awesome and I will see you for the next Tutorial Tuesday. Bye-bye.